Fucked up, baby! Windy, 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 windy. That's a largey and that's a good one. You got it crammed. You got it jam crammed in there, baby. That's what I like to see. Woo, baby, what a good fish. Oh no, you only got you only got one hook now. Come on. That fish crashed. Come here. Oh, the waves. Oh, no. Come on. Woo. Jeez. Hang on a second. Woo. Holy cow, y'all. That's a good fish right there. Good fish on the banger. A little sriracha craw color. It's fall, baby. That is a tasty one there. Woo, that's a picture fish. That is a juicy one, and that is how I like to start off a video. Now go ahead and just give a plug. Black Friday deals going on right now. Shopcarls.com. You can get this banger, your club member, 40% off. Uh, a lot of other baits, 20, 20% off. I mean, just big time deals going on at shopcarls.com. Link down below, you guys can go get loaded up on your fall fishing tackle. And go ahead and shop for early spring. Square bills, vibrating jigs, uh, spinner baits, always good this time of year. Let's go ahead and get to casting again, see if we can pop another couple of toads. Okay, for all those curious, I've got this rig on 12 pound. GS Fluoro, I'm throwing this on the reaction rod, which is designed for crankbaits. Absolutely perfect for the banger. And that fish came uh, kind of on the outside of a main lake point, but throwing up shallow. I've got deep water behind me, but I'm gonna be throwing up into about, you know, two to six foot of water and just trying to, as the name implies, bang this crankbait off of these rocks and imitate these crawfish that are being stirred up. We'll try to keep the wind noise down. I apologize in advance for that. Water temp is 61.7. That is good feeding temps right there. Once it gets below 55, it starts, starts getting a little tougher. Anytime I'm throwing a square bill, I'm trying to make contact with something, but if I'm in open water, like when I reach an area where I'm not hitting any, anything, I'm gonna give it pauses every few seconds. So if a fish is chasing it out, it'll give them a chance to run into that crankbait and open that mouth. Okay, that deeper water's starting to fade out. So I'm gonna move to a different spot. big crawfish eater red hot boiling crawfish come and get you some some of that sriracha sauce got a little mud line stirred up here on this bank too in the wind oh gosh smack oh he come off no i still got him oh my gosh what no holy no way this is a this is a daggum buffalo it's a giant. It's either that or it's a 20 pound bass. Oh gosh, it came off. Jeez. Yeah, you can tell by the goo there on my line, that was a buffalo hot wing right there. Shoo, baby. That got me going. I don't know if that's ever happened to me on a crankbait like that. Or I just snagged one in, in the head. 
I've been to four or five different banks. Only one bass, one giant carp. So I'm gonna move farther south on the south end of the lake and try to find some of those banks and points that have that deep water close. So just keep grinding, covering a ton of water. Where a bass should be is on this cast. Coming across the point. That's where one should be. They don't always read the world books. Come on, baby. Oh my gosh. Oh, one grabbed it right there. Oh, and it's a magnum white bass eating a crawfish. What are you doing? Goodness. Thought that was the Kraken unleashed there for a second. Dude, that is a mondo white bass jace second off species i have worked so hard on these banks grinding on the cranks would be too much to ask for a five pounder you know i was hoping to get a nice little five bass program going but take whatever I can get at this moment that's gonna be a snag that feels kind of squishy and this is one reason I always carry a knife on a belt well tried to avoid it Time has come to let our friend go. Got some pics. My ugly sweater shirt. Give me that face. Give me that beautiful face of yours. Okay. Please tell your friends. I know. Give me that sass. And then go tell your friends with that same sass. Eat my fall crankbaits when I'm coming out to fall crank, okay? Have a nice day. I think I set myself up for failure there. Um, coming out the gate super hot and then getting into a fall cranking mode. And that's that's all I wanted to do. It's obviously not what the fish wanted to do. I got closed minded, okay? Learning lesson, don't be closed minded. Keep that junk fishing option available always in the fall. And I should have done that. That really pissed me off. So we're not ending it here. I'm going to another trashy lake and I'm gonna figure them out. It is time for our morning feedings with our chickens. And then we're hitting the lake again, y'all. Just let the birds roam around a little bit. Old Penny, strong girl, coming back strong off chicken pox. My whole flock of chickens literally contracted chicken pox, avian pox. And uh, they've got these like bumps on their, their combs and it is not good. It is not good. Uh, apparently it's going around pretty strong this year. Go figure, 2020. So I was a little ticked off last night. I'm a little bit more open today for more fall patterns and let's go make something happen. I need to catch a few more green fish in my life just to feel accomplished, you know. It is the best feeling in the world. And this is why I, I just beat my head into the ground going to lakes and fishing hard 
not catching anything sometimes, but it just drives me to try to figure out some sort of pattern out there because it's the best feeling in the world when you unlock a little something uh, that works and all over the lake or a certain spot and you figure out how to make them bite. It's like you have conquered the beast and that's a good feeling. So let's get out there, see if we make something happen, y'all. Points cranking, baby. New lake, different conditions. We got overcast today. But I'm just gonna say, I, I think these, these two lakes, they fish kind of similar, and I think I, I think I messed up yesterday by staying so shallow because all the bait that I'm seeing out here is really offshore. I think this is going to be a tough bite out here too, but I just think the general population of fish is going to be in that uh, deeper water, just hanging around these shad. It's like we've gone into winter. And these fish are positioning off the points, creek channels, uh, closer to deep water where these big shad wads are piling up. It seems like we've we've skipped over the shallow, freaking shallow bite that I love. There's got to be a tournament going on because they have a bunch of rapid boats. There'll be a bass open or something out here. I don't even know. It's getting absolutely pounded. Hmm nursery of shad eaters uh you're about the size of a you know solid gizzard shad my dude not what we're wanting well since i can't catch a daggum bass y'all already know what's about to happen It's like magic. It is like the magic, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Golden crispy, I think so. What's up? Catch any? Are you doing the open or no? No. Have one bit. Yeah, like what depth? Just offshore. Offshore. Well, that fella right there said uh, he caught one bass yesterday, and uh, that ain't good. It's a really tasty brush pile is what that is. Crappy time. Look at that hammer sausage there. Oh, baby. Well, bam. I may have found a few bass on this pile too, but uh, we'll see if they want to buy a crappie jig. Ooh, oh my gosh. That's a bass. Gotta be. And wouldn't you know it. I go bass fishing. Can't catch them. And then I get on a brush pile with crappie. And guess who's on there? A catfish. That's who's on there. Well, my gosh. I have caught everything under the sun. Yeah, you're going to get the fillet knife too, sir. You're not getting away with that. I thought that was going to be a, a three-pounder. Large mouth. They are so elusive. Got him. Drop it time. You're a little small. Probably would have kept, but hogs only. Some crappies, yeah. Some crappies. Nothing up shallow. Everybody's telling me that these fish are not up shallow. And they're not biting. 
this is tough times. This is a tough fall bite. Oh, yes, sir. Whacked. After talking to all these tournament anglers out here, and it's just not looking good. I can guarantee you, if I were to enter this tournament, I would get absolutely trounced. I, I think this is a bass open that's going on out here, and it just ain't good. If I had to guess, I would say the winners of this tournament it, it are going to be fishing offshore, they're going to find something special, unique, or they're ganged up and. That's where it's going to be won, and especially with the shallows being pounded. Everyone's done that in practice. Uh, it's going to push fish out as well. But I would love to know from y'all how you're catching them right now. I started this video out thinking I was going to tell you guys, hey, fall pattern, get your get your daggum craw patterns out on on the shallows, and uh, you know just another way to catch them in the fall. You know, you got your shad chasers, that's always good. And then you got uh, you got that craw batter. That's what I wanted to, to illuminate, but uh, it has gone dark. I've got some nice crappies. I've got a catfish, so I'm not walking away empty handed here, but dead gun, it is tougher than pine cones out here. And with that said, I'm gonna retire for the day Gladly knowing that I am not in this tournament tomorrow. I don't have that pressure on me to catch them. Uh, I will say, you know, not fishing tournaments in a good long while, it definitely gives you an edge when you fish tournaments. Even if it's just local tournaments, having a little something on the line makes you fish a lot harder. Uh, but I always just try to go out, figure out a pattern, bring it to you guys. It was not successful this time, but hopefully you'll still watch, you know, subscribe to the channel and continue, because uh, I do have some special moments every once in a while. Anyway, I'm going to go home, clean these fish, have a little weekend fish fry, but thank you guys for tuning in, and don't forget, uh, link down below if you want to get stacked up on tackle and special boxes like Mondo kits, things like that. Um, today is... I think one of your last days you can go get them at, at Shop Carl's for deeply discounted prices. So go and check that out if you want to get stocked up on tackle. Go out there, have fun, smash a big old bag of bass with me, please. God bless you. I'll see you on the next one.